Hi everyone, I'm Rich and welcome back to Mission 1820 and this week's episode of Have You Ever Wondered? Now, this is a weekly series where we answer a common biblical question in just five minutes or less. So, if you're new to the channel, hey, we welcome you and we encourage you to go ahead and browse all of our other available content. And please, leave some comments below telling us how we're doing. So without further ado, let's get to this week's question. Have you ever wondered what the Bible actually says about sex before marriage? Well, for starters, the Bible is extremely clear on sexual sins such as adultery, which is the consensual sex between a married person and someone other than their spouse. And fornication, which is sexual immorality in general. Now, sex before marriage or premarital sex is not addressed in those exact terms, but it does, however, fall within the scope of sexual immorality. There are several verses in the Bible which teaches that sex before marriage is immoral, such as 1 Corinthians 7, 2, which says, but since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. Now, we are seeing in this verse that marriage is the only reason that a married man and a woman should be having sexual relations. And therefore, any sex outside of a biblical marriage between a man and a woman is considered immoral. And this would include premarital sex. Now, God designed sex and the Bible honors marriage between a man and a woman. Part of honoring marriage is the Bible's insistence on complete avoidance or abstinence of sex before getting married. When two people before they're married engage in sexual intercourse, they are defiling God's gift of sex. The Bible tells us that sex was created for the purpose of procreation between a husband and his wife and not for the purpose of recreational sex out of wedlock. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 tells us marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexual immoral. This is telling us that all the Bible verses that condemn sexual immorality in general also condemn sex before marriage, and these include Acts chapter 15 verse 20, 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1, and Galatians chapter 5 verse 19, just to name a few. So while practicality does not determine right from wrong, following the Bible's instructions concerning sex before marriage would greatly benefit society if the Bible's message on sex before marriage were obeyed, there would be far fewer abortions, sexually transmitted diseases, unwed mothers, and definitely unwanted, unwanted pregnancies. Sex between a married man and his wife is the only form of sexual relations of which God approves. Now you know what the Bible says about sex before marriage.